As you can see, I did not make the base cabinets from scratch. They were custom made from IKEA boxes. And with that, I thought this project was going along rather quickly until I started adding a whole bunch of stuff. Yes, you can definitely make it easier by doing just one big piece straight across the top. Or if you like doing more work, well, do what I'm doing. With this being scrap pieces of wood, I had some holes, corners, and edges to fill. I ended up just using some wood putty. Um, heck, you could pull out some card bondo if you really want to. After yet another good dose of sanding, I applied a resin-based primer with a foam brush. Then I applied two coats of Benjamin Moore Advanced Paint with a quarter inch nap roller. And then I topped it all off with five coats of a Rust-Oleum matte finish clear coat. As most people could probably agree that the wood edge is not that appealing. So a very quick and easy trick to get rid of that is edge banding. It's a very simple process. You just iron it on and trim the edges back. And it just so happened that I chose a gray that was almost identical to the paint color. At this point, I was just about ready to call this project done and close the books. And then I started adding some of the bells and whistles. One of those would be a wireless charging station. I noticed as my wife was testing out the ergonomics of the table, she was always putting her cell phone up on the same spot of the desk or table. So I thought, hey, let's hide a little wireless station up in there. It was a pretty easy uh, trick. All I did was just uh, measure where I wanted it and then routed it out. The only tricky part is you obviously can't go all the way through, so you kind of measure the depth needed and adjust the router to that depth. Had to do a little test out in the garage just to make sure it worked and it did. So we were in luck here. In all of the times I've done my makeup, I've yet to realize that you actually do need quite a bit of light in front of your face. Thus, that's why when you look up all the vanities, they have all of those lights around the mirror. So to do that, I picked up some cheap, easy uh, vanity makeup lights off of Amazon. I think that's exactly what I searched. There was a whole bunch of results. Of course, there's a bunch of results. It's on Amazon. And they came in two days, and I think they work great. After I had drilled the holes and laid out where the lights were going to go, it was yet time again for our favorite sequence of sanding, primer, and paint. One issue with those lights is the wires do not come apart from the bulbs. And so unless you want the wire shown in front, which isn't too bad of an option, but if you want it nice, squeaky clean, then you kind of have to put your sparky hat on, cut some wires, and, well, rewire the dang thing on the back side of it so none of those are shown. Since I didn't have any white edge banding, I went with the next easiest thing and was just cut some simple trim pieces, painted it white, and called it good.
I'm happy with how this turned out, and well, my boss gave me the final approval. That being my 10 year old daughter. She was happy, so we called it good. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.